always start my live videos like that and I'm, I always watch it back and I'm like, why do I say that? And then I just did it again, but that's okay. All right, let's share it to our group. Perfect. Okay, so happy Tuesday. I am a quickly, I'm gonna try to share all this information quickly. Um, hi, going, hi. Yes, I'm sorry. Can you say hi? A book. A book? Oh. I do have our book. Yeah. I am going to try to share yeah. all singing with you guys as quick as I can. So first of all, I just want to say that I don't know everything. So often my girls will message me, or people will ask me, they're like, how do you know all this stuff? And I'm like, you guys, I don't. <laughs> like, I look it up, right? Like, I want to show you guys how easy and practical and mommy, this can be for you too. Okay, mommy, hold you. Sit on my neck. Okay, she has a little stool right here. Okay, so like for example, this morning my friend messaged me. She was like, "Hey, what do I do for hives? I've never had to deal with hives, so I have no idea." And so I looked it up in my book, and I was able to send her. Mommy talking. I was able to send her a little screenshot of what to oils to put on her hives. So. No, ma'am. She was stuck a spoon in, so I said, thank God. I was like, okay. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? All right. <laughs> Hello, those of you who are watching. Can you say hi? No. No? Okay. So, I have mine tabbed so that I can find what I need easier, but I'm going to go to the index. And things like congestion and cough, I kind of, I like, just like in like school uh -oh. and like uh -oh. anything you're learning in life, you know, you like remember, but it's always nice to have a refresher. And I want to show you guys that this is, this doesn't have to be hard and this doesn't have to be complicated for you. Okay. Let's see. Mommy trying to read. Hold on. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry. Sometimes it's under like weird, weird names. Like Mama, you wouldn't think to look up. Mama, Dad. Okay. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. You hit your head. All right. So it says cold. Mama. So we're gonna look up cold. Mama. Hey. Hi, Vanessa. Anyway, so. I'm gonna look up cold and it'll tell you in like, so like for instance, right here, it says clove oil. You can find clove oil and information about it on a lot of pages, but yeah, you're having a cough. But it says right here, you can't really see it, but it's page 57 where that would be. Oh, I know, okay. So coughs, congestion, and dryness is page 287. So I'm gonna flip over to page 287. And then it's gonna tell me, coughs are classified into two categories, acute and chronic information about coughs and congestions, and then recommendations of single oils, recommendations of blends, recommendations of different supplements. Um, and then it also says, Oral care, which says like these mouthwash, these hard lozenges, um, these cough drops, which I can't really give her a these cough drop or she'd probably choke on it. So what are you doing? So the difference between a, when it says like singles versus blends. So I'm just reading this information from right here. A blend is some it oils. So breathe again, obviously is like not a plant. Okay. Hey, can you go find them? Luna. Go see if you can find Luna. Breathe Again obviously is not a plant. So that would be what a blend is. There's different oils in here mixed together to make the oil breathe again. But lemon is obviously a fruit. So this is just lemon. So that would be single versus blend. So anyways, now the whole point of my DIY. Poor Dobie. Yes, you help me. So I have some organic coconut oil here. If you wanted to make this in a roller form, 
you could also help. that it's hanging out help. here. Yes, you're gonna help me. You could also make this in a roller. Um, okay. Got a dirty girlfriend. Um, and then you would just use fractionated coconut oil, which just means like liquid coconut oil versus not. So, whoop, I thought this was gonna be a little more liquidy because it's been sitting in the car for a little bit, which isn't what you're supposed to do with it, but it'll be fine. So I'm gonna put a little bit in here. If you had to warm it up, just warm it like your jar up over the stove, or if you have a microwave, you can use the microwave, um, but you just want it to be not like super duper liquidy, but enough that you can mix your oils into it. So it tells me here, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, lemon, um, Northern White Spot Spruce, Raven Sarah, Cedarwood, lots of different um, single oils, blends, are Thieves, RC, Raven, um, lots of different things, Breathe Again, lots of different oils um, that it says. So what I have chose, chosen to grab, um, two oils that come in your premium starter bundle, lemon and peppermint. I'm going to put these in there. Hold on, baby, we gotta mix our oils in. And then a few other oils. But you can do this with any variation of these oils or other oils that um, it lists. If you are oiling, I'm gonna do about three drops each um, of each oil. If you are oiling and you don't use this pocket reference book, you need to get it. It is literally a life saver. Um, peppermint is really good for opening up like the breathing passageways and all that kind of stuff. Lemon, really good for like breaking up chest congestion. Um, you took my page away, baby daughter. No, you didn't. Oh goodness. Um, I'm putting in some rosemary. Also, it has really good properties in it for the sickness. Eucalyptus, like I said, that is really good. Also for opening you up and helping break up that congestion. And then breathe again. Also, another really, really good one for chest congestion. I put a couple, a lot of drops of that in there. Um, helping with that, like her cough and all those kind of things. So now I'm going to mix my oils into the coconut oil. And then, like I said, since this is a little bit melted, it's not like super duper melty, but you can see that it's like not the normal consistency. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge for a little while. I don't know how long, but until, um, until it like is more solidified and then I'll pull it out. And then that is basically it. Hey, Allison. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more coconut oil in here, but I'm just gonna rub this right on Jovi's chest and then on her back um, like on her lungs and up her spine. Um, applying oils to the spine is really good to get them throughout your whole body. Um, rub them up your spine because that is like opening up versus like brushing down is like closing the vertebrae, I guess. And like brushing the oils up helps open like the vertebrae and all that kind of, you know health science -y stuff. So I'm going to keep mixing this up and I will make you watch you do that. Like I said, I'm gonna throw it in the fridge for a little bit so it'll solidify more. Um, and I'm gonna apply this to her as often as I can. Um, one last thing, I did add lemon in here. If you make something like this and you do add any kind of citrus oils, um, it might say on the side here, Yes, so citrusy oils, um, be careful putting like 
them on your self undiluted or even diluted in places that you might get a lot of sun. Um, like, you know, putting like lemon juice and stuff in your hair like lightens it. Just be careful with citrus oils. Keep them out of the sun if you're putting them on your body, on your littles. Um, it's on her chest, so I'm not that worried about it. But if you were to make a balm that has like citrus oil or anything like that, a spray, just be careful. So that is that. She is going to love it. She loves her little baby massages. So sorry this went a little long. Yes, baby. But I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Bye.